In this video, I'll go through the process of making walls out of ArchiFrame elements. I'll explain what elements are and why they're used. The process of making floors out of elements is similar, but I'll just use walls as my examples. The element tool can be found in the ArchiFrame main window by clicking here. Before creating your element, you must have an ArchiCAD wall on which the element will be placed. So I have a demo wall here. The next step is to choose the element type. So in other words, you must define which building material layers should be inside the element. So you could have an element type with, for example, cladding, boarding, and framing. Here I have a ready list of different element types, but in the next tutorial we will look at how to define a custom element type. For now, I'll just choose one of these predefined types. And next, I'll place the element in the floor plan view. Now let's look at this wall in 3D. If we zoom into the element, we see that all the layers inside the element look the same, except for having different thicknesses, even though these layers represent different building materials. Now I'll go back to the floor plan view, where I have another element on a different layer. I'll turn that layer on. So here's the element. And now I'll create planks for this new element. So here you can see that the planks were created. And next, let's look at both elements in the 3D view. I'll just deselect the ARCHICAD walls and section markers so that they won't be shown. So as you can see, in the planked wall we now have 3D objects representing all the different layers of the wall. So here we have cladding and uh, this group here is the framing layer. Now I'll just turn off the wireframe view for the wall element so that you can see it better. So essentially the wall element is just a simplification of the finished wall. Now I'll show you why the simple wall element is so useful. I'll show you the exterior wall of our demo house. As you can see, the structure requires that the wall framing supports the roof rafters. On the other hand, we don't want the roof rafters to be exposed from the sides, so the wall cladding must extend all the way to the top of the rafters. So the layers inside the wall have to have different heights. Now I'll just show you the wall element layer to show you what the elements look like. So here you can clearly see how the different layers of the wall element have different heights. And now if we go back to our own wall element, we can easily set different heights for the layers with the layer offset tool. I have here a preset layer offset, which sets the four exterior layers of the wall to be 200 millimeters higher than the framing layer. This is much easier to do using the wall element than it would be to stretch each of the individual pieces of this planked wall by doing, say, something like this. And now I'll just undo that. And finally, I'll open a section view of this wall element, so this section here. And here, I can also manually edit the wall element by dragging the corner points, for example, like this. And now I'll create plants for this element. So again, the element made it very easy to edit the shape of the wall, compared to stretching and rotating individual planks in the framing. And this kind of customization might come in handy when you create complex shaped walls like this one. So to sum up, in ArchiFrame, the workflow is to first define an element type, then set settings for the element, for example the height, layer offsets and so on, then place the element, 
and edit its shape further if required, and finally to create planks. The idea is to minimize manual work on editing individual planks, so really the elements exist to help you work more efficiently.